the ascension of the Lord, Year B, Regina Celli, Pope Francis. Today we are celebrating the ascension of the Lord. The Gospel passage, Mark chapter 16, the conclusion of the Gospel of Mark, presents us with the risen one's final encounter with the disciples before he ascends to the right hand of the Father. Usually, as we know, farewell scenes are sad. They cause a feeling of loss, of abandonment in those who remain. Instead, none of this happens to the disciples. Despite their separation from the Lord, they do not appear grief-stricken, but rather they are joyful and ready to go out into the world as missionaries. Why are the disciples not sad? Why should we too rejoice at seeing Jesus ascending into heaven? The ascension completes Jesus' mission among us. Indeed, if it is for us that Jesus descended from heaven, it is also for us that he ascends there. After having descended into our humanity and redeemed it, God, the Son of God, descends and becomes man, takes our humanity and redeems it. He now ascends into heaven, taking our flesh with him. He is the first man who enters heaven. Because Jesus is man, true man, he is God, true God, our flesh is in heaven, and this gives us joy. Now, a human body sits at the right hand of the Father for the first time, the body of Jesus, and in this mystery, we each contemplate our future destination. This is not at all an abandonment. Jesus remains forever with the disciples, with us. He remains in prayer because as man he prays to the Father, and as God, man and God, he shows him his wounds, the wounds by which he has redeemed us. Jesus' prayer is there with our flesh. He is one of us, God-man, and he prays for us. And this should give us confidence, or rather joy, great joy. And the second reason for joy is Jesus' promise. He told us, I will send you the Holy Spirit. And there, with the Holy Spirit, that commandment is made that he gives in his farewell. Go into all the world and preach the gospel. And it will be the power of the Holy Spirit that will lead us there into the world to bring the gospel. It is the Holy Spirit of that day, whom Jesus promised, and then, nine days later, he will come in the Feast of Pentecost. It is precisely the Holy Spirit who made it possible for us to be this way today, a great joy. Jesus went to heaven, the first man before the Father. He left with his wounds which were the price of our salvation, and he prays for us, and then he sends us the Holy Spirit. He promises us the Holy Spirit to go to evangelize. This is the reason for today's joy. This is the reason for the joy on this day of the Ascension. Brothers and sisters, on this Feast of the Ascension, as we contemplate heaven, where Christ has ascended and sits at the right hand of the Father, let us ask Mary, Queen of Heaven, to help us be courageous witnesses of the risen one in the world, in the concrete situations of our lives.